270 up a hill. Still, it's a long fire, but you've got a, a three wood you're going to try. What is your angle of attack on your driver? Is it up a couple of degrees? I think it is It is up. If anything, I, I kind of swing up on stuff. I don't really have a, I've never had a real steep angle of attack. Yeah. Um, and so I usually drive it pretty good because I think that, I think that helps with the driver. And this is zeroed is, out? I would like to, yeah. Very zeroed out. Definitely not too much up. You know, you want to you wanna still hit down, down and through the ball. Yeah. Um, make sure that club stays nice and low. You don't want it to come up. If it comes up too quick, the tendency is, if it, I feel like when it comes up too quick, the face will rotate a lot real quick like that. Yeah. So you want that thing to stay nice and stretched Out down uh, so it stays square. But now, you, a, you could lay yeah. up here, but you probably won't need to. What, what, what's, what's the changeover for you? What's the... Uh, What's yeah, worth so, it and what's not? Yeah, so I, like I said, I, I feel like my short game is a, is a strength. And so for me, par fives, if the greens are pretty receptive, I like to get the ball up there because I always feel like I can pitch it pretty decently pretty close. close. And I feel like I'm a good wedge player too, but I think some shots are worth a bit of a risk in just trying to get it up there because I feel like if you're a good pitcher or a good putter or a good pitcher and chipper, get it up there. If, if your strength is your wedges, then go play to that. But I feel like I can pitch it pretty close. So even if I don't hit this perfect, I feel like I can, I can make up for it somewhere up there. All right, let's have a look at the three wood. 